Hey, my name's Rob, your backyard sidekick. And in today's video, I just wanted to cover real quick how to hit a croquet ball. Now, we've been getting this question and it's confusing if you watch like an international tournament or something, you'll see them um, hitting the ball like this. But when you're in your backyard, you're mostly seeing people play this way. So what is that all about? Well, there's four things they come into play four steps i like to think when you're hitting a croquet ball um, number one is your grip number two is your stance three is aiming and four is the swing actually hitting the ball um, so let's go over the grips uh, what you're going to see is uh, competition players are using what they call the standard grip so what that looks like is uh, top hand knuckles out thumb up bottom hand knuckles facing inward thumb down and so this is how you'll hold the actual handle and the mallet um, now your that's the standard grip another thing you'll see is the solomon grip this is also used a lot in uh, competition professional level players both hands will have your knuckles out and your thumbs facing up so it'll look something like this and this grip is really used for uh, shorter players <laughs> or someone that wants to get some more leverage on the ball and this last typical grip is what you'll see mostly in backyard games recreational players uh, both hands you'll have your knuckles facing in and your thumbs facing down so it'll look something like this and um, this is called the Irish grip and the Irish grip is mostly used with this um, golf stance so let's get into the stances you'll see um, here's your center stance which is mostly you use the standard grip and you'll just stand in front of the ball and you'll be swinging this way um, there's also a side stance where it looks something like this and you could also use the uh, you know standard grip this isn't as common of a stance anymore it's really just in certain situations you'll see this um, and then of course the golf stance where you're standing and hitting the ball uh, parallel with the front of your toes so we've got grip stance and now I want to talk about aiming a little bit when you're aiming you're really just getting the front of the mallet um, perpendicular exactly with where you want the ball to go. So um, this is using a golf stance. My aim would just be looking where you want to hit the ball and lining the front of your mallet up uh, with where you want the ball to go. Now, you may see what they call stocking. And that's when, um, this is especially useful with that uh, center stance we showed you they'll you'll see them stand about six feet away from the ball and they'll walk up to the ball in the direction they want to hit it that just gives them a good good eye of the playing field and get some kind of set up in place to where they're going to hit um, now there's a couple other things about aiming with where you want to hit the ball let's talk about that at the end um, because I want to get into the swing. This is kind of the most important. A lot of people, they'll use their wrists. That's kind of, that's actually not what you want to do. In fact, the ideal swing would, your wrist would just be locked and not move at all. Hopefully, the whole swing is in your shoulders. You're going to be swinging the mallet like a pendulum. And the goal is to hit the ball at the very bottom of that pendulum swing. And after you hit the ball, you want to move your mallet a, a foot or so. That's the follow through, um, just to give you a good swing there. Now, when you're hitting the ball, most often times, you're going to want to hit the ball just above center to put some forward spin on the ball. And the reason that is, is every time you're going through a wicket, it's very rare that you're just dead center on. And in fact, the wicket only has about a 16th inch on either side 
for a ball to fit perfectly through. And so if you're at, if you're at any sort of an angle, um, you're most likely going to hit the side of the wicket. So having some forward spin on the ball could help get the ball through the wicket. And that'll look something like this. See how I hit the side of the wicket? I don't know if you saw that, but the ball hits the wicket, lands, and instead of dropping dead, it had some forward spin on it, so I was able to carry through the wicket. Now, um, if you're gonna hit, if you need to, say, jump over another ball, maybe it's your teammates or another players, for whatever reason, you don't wanna hit the ball, um, you're most likely going to want to jump the ball. And in that case, you don't want forward spin. In fact, you want to hit below center of the ball. And of course, the further down on the ball you hit it, the higher you'll jump it. Like I said, most people playing in the backyard, you're going to be using the Irish grip with the golf stance. That's just typically what you're going to see for a just a fun recreational game and that's about it that's how you hit a croquet ball if this helped you out go ahead and subscribe i'll be your backyard sidekick and we're always getting into something back here so uh, also thanks for watching